Hi everyone, welcome to Canada CPA Online Academy, sharing the wisdom. So I thought I would be doing a quick um, tutorial on the CPA competency map. Now I have done a video previously how to use a competency map. So those who are new or who are appearing for September or uh, international students who are not aware what the competency map is. So the competency map uh, lists down the, all the um, all the subjects and its uh, chapters or concepts. And then uh, it gives the levels A, B, and C. So, uh, and as per that, uh, it is assessed. So level A means you need to know the concept thoroughly in detail. It could be tested in, uh, in depth and you are supposed to do uh, a detailed analysis for that con concept. For uh, Level B as such, it is uh, intermediate level, so it would be tested some, so you need to have some knowledge of it and you should uh, exhibit some competency in that. So some initial calculation and things like that. And for level C, even if you give in just what the concept is and a quick summary, that should be enough. So that's what level A, B, C. Now how to use it? Uh, I get a, a question often that um, like, what to study for tax and finance because those two are very vast subjects. Like if you see the eBooks, it's it's there are many uh, eBooks uh, on the tax and very detailed. So sometimes it gets confusing. So here is a quick um, competency map tool. So you can download the competency map as such, but I, I find this tool is helpful as well. So uh, here you will see, so if you reset, I'll reset the filter. Some error. Okay. Yeah. So uh, when there are no filters, this is the this is how it looks like. So in each each subject, what are the topics and at what level they would be considered? So that is that is how the competency map is structured. But now, uh, if you see, say, suppose you filter on the taxation, so you want to see what is what is relevant for taxation and apply the filter. Then uh, also check like if you're if you want to see which chapters I should be studying in depth. So apply the filter to A, and then check that all these chapters, whatever comes out as A, these are the chapters you should be knowing the detailed concept. You should be knowing uh, how to calculate that part, and you should be able to uh, exhibit your depth of that. That, that topic as such. So that is what A means. So now see uh, general tax issues for corporate entry, NTD, tax payables. So you should be able to uh, calculate what would be a tax payable for a corporation and uh, general tax issues for individual. So these, these if just scroll uh, through that and you will know which topics. So you will see that there aren't many topics that are listed as A for uh, like if you, um, if you have your uh, assure, not assure, the day two role as taxation, then definitely it would be in more depth. But uh, if you have other, like say, if you have assurance as your uh, day two depth uh, selection, then there are many, many topics that are at A. So uh, what I'm trying to say is tax is not as scary as it looks. Most of the topics are at level B or C. You will see now B has a lot of lot of chapters are required at level B. So that means you should be able to uh, navigate through that quickly that, um, okay, I'm not, I don't have to be an expert in that. If, if I know the concept, if I know the general calculation for that, then you should be good to handle your day three cases uh, with that because day one, there is no tax. Day two, if, you're if your role is assurance, then there would be no tax. So your only concern would be day three. And when for day three, when you look at the tax levels, it's huge. So I would suggest use this uh, competency map. Now let's see, say for all, and if your role is assurance, okay, now, so 
So you will see now um, for, for assurance role, what are the topics that are important and uh, tested. So now if you say all competencies areas, assurance rule, and whatever is at A, you will see for financial reporting, it would be A because for day two financial reporting, you are still uh, required to know your uh, financial reporting concepts at, uh, at A level. So just play with it. You can search and use uh, this, this map. I think it's very useful to understand and prepare uh, for the depth of the role and for the uh, day three uh, like coverage as well, like what, what topics you need to cover in detail. So focus on your A and B areas and uh, that should be good. And thank you. Thank you for uh, attending the session today and see you soon. Thank you.